These highlights are brought to you by your San Diego County Toyota dealers and by Fix Auto. Hey sports fans, Christian Pedersen here with the girls lacrosse finals starting division two. Mission Bay, the number one seed, playing against Pacific Ridge, the number three seed, folks. Grab some popcorn. This one is a show to the very end. Shelby Moore, first one to strike for the Buccaneers. Moments later, Kylie Kreger strikes again. Mission Bay grows an early lead all the way to 4-1 before Pacific Ridge starts coming back on him. Big part of that comeback was Vivian Yoon. Show her right here. Gets the ball. Scores! Back of the net, Firebirds tie it up. Tied games were a big theme in this one though. Let's check out Lindsey Price taking the lead back for Mission Bay as they head into the second half. Buccaneers on top. Pacific Ridge ties it up, takes the lead back courtesy of Elijah Miller right there. Firebirds on top. Got to talk about a little bit of the great goalkeeping of Miranda Phillips. She was a big part of their season and how they got here. Let's go back to Yoon, giving Pacific Ridge their biggest lead of the day, but no lead was safe. Kylie Krager, Mission Bay, they're back in it. They've got the lead again. Pacific Ridge ties it back up, takes the lead on Reed Dinning. This game is looking like it's gonna come down to the last team to have the ball, so a minute 12 left. Serena Twitchell from Mission Bay ties it. So, under a minute left now. Who's got it? Vivian Yoon, she's got it. She's got the championship for the Firebirds. That's right, folks, Pacific Ridge punches their ticket in the last minute of the game. Congratulations, Firebirds. You are the champions. Let's hear from some of them after the game. I mean, we just, we played such a good game and like, I just couldn't be prouder of the team. We went out there knowing that we could do it and we did. Well, um, my first thing that went through my mind when I saw a minute on the clock was we have to get this game. We have to get this ball because I want to do this for our seniors. I want to do this for the people who are graduating and this is going to be their last game. So, um, possession, possession, possession for sure. Second game on the day, San Marcos in the light taking on Bishops. In the darks, this one is for the Division I title. This is a pair of high-powered offenses. So, of course, we have an epic game for the ages. The Lady Knights strike first. Only moments later, though, San Marcos comes back to tie the game and kind of send a message that, hey, no one's going to put up a big lead on this one. We are going blow for blow for the title here. Bishops back on top. Bishops grows to their largest early lead of the game here, and that would only be two goals because Cat Barge and the offense on San Marcos would find ways to get the ball to Ella Bolin. She loses her footing there. Doesn't matter for the freshman to score. We go second half with Bishops only up by one. Again, Bolin finding the back of the net. Nice little spin move, turns around, scores! Moments later, it's going to be Jillian Dorman for San Marcos, who finally gives them the lead at 13-12. This game, though, ends up being an all-out shootout. Gabrielle Schneider, back of the net. Knights tie it back up at 13. Moments later, Stephanie Plowden, you can see the crowd was going crazy. They had the stands shaking. Plowden ties it up at 15 with under a minute left. Ella Pejakovic in goal for San Marcos comes up with a huge save and that sets this little bit of history up on the other end. Katie Abate back in the net, seals the deal for a championship. Woo! San Marcos, the number one seed, holds on in dramatic fashion to become champions. The Knights, and they were celebrating big time after the game. Let's hear from some of them about it. Oh gosh, we, my freshman year, we started off with a championship for Division Two, and now we're just able to finish it off with a championship for Division One. And I can't thank my team enough for being just the best family ever. Um, definitely nerve-wracking, but I knew that my team could pull it together. We um, we definitely stepped up the last um, the last minutes of the game, and I knew that we could do it. The game was tied. Um, I I got the ball, and I saw an opportunity. There was only one girl in front of me, so I took it left-handed, and I shot it, and we made it, and we knew we had to win the next draw and had to control the ball for the rest of the game. Otherwise, um, they could have come back, and that's what we did, and it was just awesome. It was totally awesome. Final game of the day, Open Division. 
Poway trying to dethrone the defending champions, Tory Pines. Tory trying to end a perfect season as the number one team in the state. Addison Stewart, first person to strike for Tory. Falcons on the board early, but the Falcons would be tested. Poway, Isabel Flood, back of the net. They tied it. They would end up taking the lead on a Camden O'Donnell goal just moments later. Poway up 2-1. That would be Poway's only lead of the day, though. Marissa Kubera ties it for Tory Pines. And then moments later, Taylor Scornavaco, the legend indeed, gives Tory the lead for good. Falcons just kept adding on to it from that point on the offense, firing on all cylinders. Big time players come out to make big time plays in big time moments, just like that laser from Scornovaco. We go second half. Torrey Pines just kept doing their thing that they've been doing all season long, and that is getting some scores from Kelly McKinnon and company. Show you one from Courtney Whalen up close and personal. Falcons starting to run away with it in the last few minutes. Show you the final goal from the storied high school career of Taylor Scornavaco as she puts an exclamation on this one. Torrey Pines wins it big to stay the number one team in San Diego. Congratulations, Falcons.